Joseph Schumpeter was born in the Austro-Hungarian Empire in 1883, and he passed away in the United States in 1950. He's generally considered to have been one of the greatest economists of the first half of the 20th century. We'll look just ever so briefly at some of his contributions to development economics. Schumpeter, by the way, spent the first part of his career teaching in Central Europe. He had a brief stint at the Ministry of Finance in Austria, and he also worked in the private sector. The second half of his career, he taught at Harvard University. Early in the 20th century, Schumpeter wrote a famous book, Theory of Economic Development. And in this book, he put forward the notion of the entrepreneur as a creative force driving economic development. The entrepreneur comes up with new ideas, implements those ideas, and sweeps away the older economic order, bringing some new set of beneficial changes. By now, this idea is pretty standard fare, but Schumpeter deserves a lot of the credit for showing people how important it was. Schumpeter also coined the phrase creative destruction. By this he meant that economic creation and economic destruction were two sides of the same coin. So if an economy was to be growing, that would also mean that a lot of sectors would be closing up shop, there would be a lot of business bankruptcies, there would be a lot of business losses, and Schumpeter understood this process of one as being inevitable in a growing economy, whereby new ideas must mean that older ideas are falling away. Schumpeter very frequently emphasized the notion that growth is a process of disequilibrium and change. Schumpeter also wrote a very nice book called Imperialism and Social Classes. I read this book as a kind of response to Lenin, who suggested that imperialism was the highest stage of capitalism. Schumpeter had a very different perspective. He saw imperialism as coming from earlier rooted forces, such as nationalism and militarism, and for Schumpeter, imperialism was something quite backward and atavistic, and he identified capitalism instead with free trade and peace. There's much more to Schumpeter than this, but he has proven one of the most seminal thinkers for development economics.